Hey guys, I'm Lucas. Welcome to KNews episode 43 about the upcoming Delta IV Heavy launch. The rocket is built by the United Launch Alliance between Boeing and Lockheed Martin. It is the biggest launcher currently in use and consists of three giant Delta IV main boosters stick together. Its maximum payload mass it can carry to a low Earth orbit is almost 30 tons. The Majestic rocket uses a Delta cryogenic upper stage, which will be used in a variant of the future space launch system. Its RL-10 engine has a relatively high specific impulse of 462 seconds, which can be explained by the use of liquid hydrogen instead of kerosene for example. Hydrogen makes the rocket's tanks extremely large because of its low density, which is why one cannot compare the rocket's size with others like the future Falcon Heavy for example. Falcon Heavy will be even a little smaller, but still be able to launch almost double the payload mass. Now the payload this time is top secret because it's from the US National Reconnaissance Office and simply called NROL-37. The launch will take place at Cape Canaveral, Florida and the launch window opens today at 5.30pm UTC which is 1.30pm local time. Delta IV Heavy will go straight up for a short period of time before it starts its gravity turn. The heading is controlled by the main engine while the roll maneuvers are performed by the side mounted exhaust of the turbo pump. They basically act like tiny thrusters which is pretty common on many rockets. Going east through the maximum aerodynamic pressure on the rocket, it will gradually throttle its center engine down. Like this it can also save up some fuel and continue to burn after the strap on booster separation which will occur just a few minutes into the flight. I can't really talk about the payload because it is as mentioned a top secret satellite. However, some sources say it might be an Orion spy satellite, which was last launched in 2010, also on a Delta IV heavy rocket. However, this satellite family should not be confused with the Orion spacecraft, which is built by NASA and shall help to bring human to the moon, asteroids and Mars. It was also launched on top a Delta IV heavy and was by the way my first remake of a near future launch and basically led to K-News as you know it today. Anyways, such an Orion spy satellite is placed at a geosynchronous position and has a very large parabolic antenna with more than 100 meters in diameter. Such an enormous antenna would of course not fit inside a fairing and has to be unfolded in space somehow. I wish there was real footage of it, but I highly doubt they will release anything. What the satellite would do is listening to signals coming from Earth. Radio communication on ground is often reflected all over the place and often also directed towards space to make use of communication satellites. These signals can be catched by such a spy satellite and sent back to ground. However, such signals are encrypted to avoid others to understand it. Such an encryption looks very complex but is in its core very easy to understand. Imagine you would write a letter with top secret information to someone. To make sure only the right person can read it, you can simply arrange a code to encrypt your messages with. A very simple code could for example be to shift all letters by one position to the right. This means an A would become a B, a B a C and so on. A sentence like I will bring food and you the drinks to the party would turn into J X J M M S N S M and so on. A person not knowing you shifted the letters would probably think a cat walked off the keyboard. This is in essence how encryption works and I'm sure some of you did something similar in school to talk to others in secret. The real encryption is of course a little more complicated and just as an example you can transform letters to numbers and so the complete message. This message you can then divide by a very large number you and your partner know. The result of that division is what you send and your partner will then multiply your message with the same number again and transform the numbers back to letters to obtain the original message. Important to know is, the larger the number you divide the message with, the better the encryption since someone trying to guess it would need longer to find it. Now back to Delta IV Heavy. Behind the giant fairing is my representation of an Orion satellite. These can weigh a little over 5 tons which is a lot for a satellite but nothing compared to the 14 tons the rocket can get to a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Since it is a spy satellite, there is no time to let the satellite circulate its orbit on its own. This usually takes weeks and several close flybys around the planet in which one could identify the satellite. To avoid that, Delta's upper stage will probably stay attached until it reaches its apoapsis to give the satellite a final burn to reach its desired orbit directly. However, that's just a guess and I'm not entirely sure about it, but Delta's upper stage would definitely be capable of doing so. Once it gets released, the upper stage will have to get out of the way and it will maybe deorbit itself afterwards. 
After separation and successful mission for the United Launch Alliance, the satellite will begin to unfold its large antenna. My antenna is not nearly as big and I also don't use an unfolding mechanism but instead use docking ports to change the orientation of my antenna arms. It takes a little practice but since the arms themselves have some reaction control, I can aim the docking ports at each other and give the satellite a push towards it. I can now repeat this whole process 7 more times and unfold my receiver up top. Now in the end a little shout out to my Patreons or Patreon for that matter. Thanks for the support. To all those who became Patreons just recently, thank you as well. I will add your names on the next round beginning in July. Ok, that was KNews episode 43 about Delta 4 Heavy and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.